Okay, I set up Regenerate many moons ago, 16 years ago. Actually, I was uh, living here on the Alton Estate and myself and a few friends and family members decided we wanted to make a difference in the community that we lived in. And there were a lot of needs on the estate. There was a lot of young people getting into trouble. There were elderly people that weren't going out of their homes. We started Regenerate to try and make a difference in the community that we live in. So now Regenerate's running loads of different projects. So we've got a couple of youth drop-in centres, a youth club, we've got a couple of music studios, we run football clubs. But the thing that's really exciting for me, a lot of the young people that are growing up through these kind of outreach projects that we're doing on the estates are now becoming the volunteers and they're the ones that are making a difference in other people's lives. If it wasn't for the football, then um, I think the young children will be um, like just playing about on the streets with no football and like, just staying at home being bored. A lot of young people that used to be ones getting into trouble, used to be selling drugs, used to be in gangs, they're now the ones that are making a positive difference in this community. I know a lot of the gang members, it would have been easy for me just to, to fall into, to getting into problems, but with Regenerate being here, they, they helped me through that process. They, they've taken me to see some life-changing things. And once you see these things, you don't want to do nothing but have a positive life and try to change people's lives within the communities that you live in. We're so grateful to the Wimbledon Foundation for all their support. Like We couldn't be doing what we're doing on the estates without them. Wimbledon Foundation has been really supportive. It's, just, it's not just a grant where you get money, but it's an actual relationship, uh, which is really great, really supportive.